hope. And Boeing Global coming into the ring in this round with a much more confidence. Last time came in with a lot of stage fright and now coming in very relaxed. And that's really the sign of a good horse. And as Greg said himself, he needs these two rounds under his belt before going to Rio. Obviously, there hadn't been such good conditions today. They would have made other plans, but in this situation, perfect conditions and nothing better than to have all the best horses and riders on the team. And this is good experience. He has to jump clear, and that's the feeling he's going to have when he's in Rio all week trying to qualify for that individual day. really with a lot of quality and a lot of scope makes it look very very easy Again, very good through the triple combination Beautiful how he can gallop and still stay careful of the front bar of that oxer. Greg really being patient, setting him up for every jump, really wanting to jump that clear round for his country. And of course, when he jumps clear, they still have a chance to iron out that one time fault from Dennis Lynch. And he's in the time. He's in the time and he's clear. It's a double clear. It's double clear for Greg Broderick. Uh, rightly so. That's what they want to see. And that is, of course, exactly what he needed as a send-off going to Rio. And the crowd's really, really showing him that they are there for him. They're there for the team, but they are also there for him. And perhaps a little bit of the pressure coming out in his victory ride. It's not 